Hey everybody, how you doing? We Angie are live. And Steve are here with Venice. Little Venice and her like homie hat. <laughs> Look at that. She's got um, like a little nut thing. This so, falls over her eyes and then she starts screaming and Ange persists on her wearing it because she thinks it looks cute. Yeah, Steve right. yells at me every day when I put it on her, but I like it and she likes it. Michelle says it holds in her brain. <laughs> <laughs> you don't um, need your brains held in, do you? So a lot of people have been following us on our trip to Costa Rica. Which, which was, was amazing. Yeah. Um, if anybody wants to uh, go to Costa Rica, I yeah. will happily climb on your baggage yeah. with you. So today we're going to give you some tips and tricks um, <laughs> on our trip. Traveling to... with a three-month-old in yes. a, uh, I guess it's developing country. I come from one, so I know it what they It is considered like. a third-world country. Yeah. 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 It is. It seems more um, developing, but, you know. Yeah, it's pretty... Pretty awesome country. We yeah. did it with a three month old, so anybody can do it. You guys can do it. I'm not too. saying it was so, easy. It, we Michelle, just did it with a three month old. Come on over. So we flew about from LA all the way down to San Jose right here. And then we, I'll just map it right there. Um, so that was almost a six hour flight. And we had this little midget with us there. What we did was, um, when the plane is taking off, the trick is to feed at that time. So that's yeah. what we did. I fed her. I guess the, the... It helps with her ears and kind of relaxes her. And I brought um, a breastfeeding pillow that attaches. Thanks, Amanda, who gifted that to me. And so she fell asleep right there. Yeah. Um, she and was then, the only one that was comfortable on that flight yeah. because uh, Alaska Airlines um, are good. They give you the cheapest They're like, like literally like we've trip. flown with them other places and it's awesome. And then I guess like San Jose, they were like, well, uh, you're going there. So here's this, like it looked like an old bus. Yeah. So that was scary taking off on that. So, um, so she was the only comfortable one. In she the was flight. comfortable. So then... When she woke up, Steve also wore the Ergo Carrier, another awesome bonus to have. Is this and, pitch, is this pitch day and what he would do is he'd walk her up and down the aisles in that, and then when she was done, she'd fall asleep in the yeah. carrier. So, and then again, when we landed, fat again to help with her ears and everything. So she did really awesome. Definitely, um, this is a good time to travel with a baby. So. Um, Ben, she I know seems you in so. the UK, you're probably watching. You can travel to oh, Miss Ruby Rose. Um, <laughs> so, and then when we got to San Jose, we spent the night. You can't really see because it doesn't show on here where we went, but from San Jose, it was about an hour and a half drive. Um, so we got, uh, so, to... so we, we ordered this car and in <laughs> true classic, um, Costa Rican. Costa Rican style, which is like, you know, it's like Africa style or like Jamaica style. Very slow. Everything's like super slow. And they got, he was like, yeah, it's coming at eight o'clock. We go there at eight o'clock. It's not, the car's not there. And then we get there at nine o'clock. He's like, here's your car. And we're like, that's not the car we ordered. And it's like this bread box. And if you were following us on um, Instagram stories, I actually shared a picture of it. And um, it was like a, it was only a two door, like little four wheel Suzuki looking thing. I mean, you would have got more power out of a motorbike or a bicycle, <laughs> but um, so he was just like, well, you can wait until 11 if you want. I'm like, no, I did. I'll, I'll take this one. <laughs> we had to catch a ferry. So yeah. it was very difficult getting the car seat in and out of a two door. Um, uh, difficult. Just I, I now yeah. still have like a massive like back issue. <laughs> yeah. So from there, we drove an hour and a half to a ferry in Punta Caras. Punta Neras. Punta Neras. So we were going to the Punta Neras province. Um, so if anybody is familiar with uh, Costa Rica, um, it, it's it's a it it has basically a um, it has like a. Um, Peninsula. Peninsula, it goes down. You can actually drive there, but obviously to take the ferries a lot quicker. Faster. Um, and so we we drove to the ferry. And, and then an hour first. and a half ferry ride, and then another hour and a half to get to 
Santa Teresa Malpais, M which Malpais. is um, yeah. the coolest area. I mean, it's really the only area we had time to go to, but we had some recommendations from people to go there. Yeah. Um, and we're really Thanks, happy Nick we from did. SEMA. Yeah, Nick at SEMA, thank you for that. Um, we, what did we do while we were there? So we really just surfed and Well, we gave our baby, <laughs> we baby, we gave our baby minor concussion from uh, driving down uh, dirt roads and uh, yeah. vibrating. <laughs> so once you get closer to Santa Teresa and Malpais, it's all dirt, like mostly all dirt roads and lots of potholes. So make sure if you do rent a car, get one that can handle, um, don't, don't get a nice get, car. Yeah, yeah, get a Suzuki get bread a, box like, like we did. Jeep, because, like really old yeah. car that you, doesn't matter if it hits potholes. Um, it isn't as cheap as you think it would be. It's actually the food and eating out is expensive. So we luckily we had an Airbnb that had a kitchen. So we just went to the local grocery store. I'm sure and there's definitely we, places we asked uh, the local um, uh, uh, the young they're... lady that was taking care of our um, Airbnb, was Airbnb right. and we're like, where's the local place? Like, yeah, but the, where's the locals going? And she's like, well... I don't think she wanted to really she, she, she was like, so I did want tourists gringos on the loud there. Yeah. <laughs> so, we eat a lot at so home. So I'm sure there are places, good. but, yeah. we, we, you know, that was the way that we did it. Um, um, also, other tips, Alaska Airline charges... $25 a bag so you're actually Rico, better off is, I didn't sense. take a surfboard mostly because I was traveling with her and and I um, you know full-length surfboard obviously we took all our handboards um, and our fins and stuff but um, it's the same I read up I didn't actually go through the experience of um, of this but um, I read up that it's actually it's 25 bucks if you take a surfboard so I actually kind of wish I just taken my surfboard because you won't believe the amount of crap that we took thanks Ange because I took I, just, baby. I had I had one I had two pairs of board shorts and a pair and a, and a t-shirt for like a week and we probably had I think we had like four bags <laughs> we so three apparently I don't matter like, anymore yes yeah, she takes a lot of stuff and he doesn't seem to understand like <laughs> to get her to sleep through the night, you need these things. So, um, what other tips do we have? If anybody got any questions, ask on the thing. Ask away. And so, also put in the comments, too. We, we rented, like, I rented a foam, like, catch surf board, and it was 10 bucks for the day. Um, Steve had rented a surfboard <laughs> yeah. that was $15. So, uh, yeah, here's the thing is I kind of wish I had just spent the, tw you know, the 75 bucks to get the board because it's 25 bucks from San Jose to LA and, and from LA to, to, uh, um, it's $50 for an extra bag. And so, um, I decided, um, I wasn't going to take my board and, um, by the time, you know, it was, I, I, the, the waves there are amazing. They're incredible. Um, they're probably not. We didn't find the, the body surfing was awesome. Like we, I had a great time handboarding, um, but I also wanted to do some stand up um, surfing while I was there. So, you know, I thought, okay, like I'll just go rent a board. So I, I rented like a six one or six two or whatever, and um, I didn't re like it it was pretty big the day i went out and i didn't realize that i creased it like ever so slightly so that cost me a hundred bucks so i was very very pleased for with any non-surfer people like a crease means you put a crack in it really <laughs> no like, well like, crease is no, no crease is more just like it's a crease it's it it's not you? actually a cross huh did it hit you is that how it happened or no 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 i i dropped in and um I, I ride, I ride pretty okay. hard on it. So and it it, it was a, it was steep and it was it was some shore break and I uh, I dropped in on it and hit the bottom and then turned in and I think that's where it happened. That whatever, so it, it, whatever it happened. Hours later, yeah. that's yeah. how much they charge. So I could have I could have just taken my board and you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what was the water temperature like? How was that? Uh, oh my God. So nice. It was so the temperature, I like, you know, we, we spent some time in Tahiti. The, 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 uh, what I was surprised was the, um, 
I honestly had it back in my mind, alligator, uh, crocodiles. Uh, you know, I, I grew up surfing with crocodiles and all sorts of sharks. crocodiles there? <laughs> yeah, yeah well, I'd actually seen, I actually seen some footage of a guy got, you know, so I, I was, I was like floating out there all the time going like, the last thing I want to see is a crocodile. But this is what way. happened when That's we went to Hawaii, too, yeah. after I went surfing out there and then, At uh, Point Panic, Sean's and like, <laughs> wife was like, were you scared of the sharks? And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, like I didn't know Point Panics was full of sharks. And uh, so anyway, anyway, um, yeah. So it was the the water temperature is amazing. Um, not as clean as you would think. I mean, not she as, wasn't as clear. Yeah, like, yeah. But I mean, I like mean, Tahiti that's nitpicking. Like that's nitpicking. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't like, um, but it was warm, beautiful, and the waves were. Uh, were really good. It's very peaky, very crowded though. Um, it can get almost as crowded as it does here, which I have heard of. Um, so, yeah, um, it was it was fantastic handboarding. Um, it's a bit of a swim out, but the waves that you do get are really cool because you can get barreled. So, if so, you yeah. have more questions of our trip, just comment below. Other things is this weekend. Um, is the Noosa Festival in Australia. We know Mr. Daniel Carr is there. Go, Mr. Uh, Cookman! So, <laughs> like, that's going to be awesome. If anybody is ever thinking of going to Australia, Noosa is amazing. It's, like, truly incredible. It's such a great place. I spent quite a bit of time there when I was there. Um, so it's got a bunch of points, and uh, I believe they're on one of those points. But, um, yeah. Uh, good luck to everybody. Yeah, all the competitors, um, all the competitors and, uh, and garage for putting it together. You guys aren't going to be there. Bye. We won't be there. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we will not. We Maybe next year if we get the invite. Noosa and... is like, <laughs> Noosa is incredible. It's really, really and, nice. Uh, but next weekend, if you're in Southern, Ca Southern California, we will be at Camp Shred. So, so Camp Shred, yeah, so just in, in case Santa anybody Lisa. doesn't, yeah, um, is it Santa Lisa? Yeah, um, in Cardiff. It is demo day, so come down, you can demo every kind of board you can possibly imagine down there. Um, all the big brands are down there, a bunch of different products, so it's all free to, to demo. You just have to hand in um, your idea. firstborn, so we're, we're going to be giving her over, so if anybody wants a free baby. Um, and then we will be, no, I'm kidding. Like, nobody's, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so you can just demo, um, not only our boards, but a bunch of different, like, um, other board companies. Yeah, and even so. wetsuits and stuff. So yeah, wetsuits, wetsuits, the whole lot, like, everything. um, I mean, it, whoever is there is going to be demoing, that's the whole point, so I actually haven't seen the full list of people, but. Yep. So, Angela, um, your mom's on. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I don't think we. I, I think we went through pretty much everything. Um, uh, I would. I would highly recommend um, if you do have a midge like this little one, um, traveling with them because it actually teaches them, teaches them a lot, especially at this young age, just to be chill. Yeah. Um, I, I think I don't know. I like who knows. Um, I feel like it works. Yeah, she's um, been great. After every, she's been on. Now, six airplanes. Yeah. Soon to be eight, because um, we're going to Dallas to um, meet with my good friend Val and her son and the Cuban team. So over there, yeah. we'll be going to Dallas. Steve gets to stay home and work on some stuff. But awesome. <laughs> Cool, guys. Well, thank you very much. Remember, Noosa Festival. Check it out. Um, then we've also got the, uh, the thing Camp for, Camp Shrimp for next week. So thank you very much for watching. Bye. If you were, if you weren't. Uh, bye, Mom. Bye, bye, Nani. <laughs> <laughs>